Hi folks, I just wanted to uh, demonstrate some of the power that uh, DroidScript has to offer. Um, this is running a Nexus 7, and uh, we have DroidScript here running with a, uh, an application that I've developed. Um, here we show an example of this is querying an Arduino Yoon that is um, acting as the alarm system on the system, so it's actually using um, uh, uh, HTTP GET to get this information here. So. Is picking up uh, that it's unarmed and it's also picking up the voltage from the um, the Arduino as well uh, current ambient temperature in here based off of DHT 11 on the uh, on the Arduino Yoon um, and the humidity um, and this is able to also read uh, information from the car so it's connected via FTDI uh, adapter, and the FTDI adapter is connected to the iBus interface on the BMW. So if I ins insert this key, uh, you'll see a message pop up. And it actually runs a key sequence and runs into the background when I put the key in so that I can run things like the navigation, etc. So it pops into the background. I'm going to bring it back into the foreground. Um, so the key is in right now, and then you'll see when I pull the key out. Sometimes the iBus goes to sleep. So there we go. Once I initiate the iBus, his key inserted. Okay, so then you pull the key out. When you pull the key out, it automatically knows to reopen the application and come back up. Um, if I arm the, uh, the car... car is now armed. You can see the LEDs blinking there. Um, it goes into low power mode so that the screen dims. It doesn't use much battery. And now I've actually got a motion sensor going and you can see it's capturing video as it moves. And what happens when it captures video? It sends it via text and SMS to me. And there we go. So it's telling me that it's capturing video right now because there's motion inside the car. It also captures it also captures um, movement. And then if we disarm it, you'll see it go unarmed here shortly once it's done sending those uh, attachments. Now it recognizes it's unarmed. Once it goes unarmed, you can see that the picture is now gone. Um, I'll brighten the display so we can see it better. There we go. All right, so now we're back to the same screen we had before. Um, now I can demonstrate to you how this can actually control the car as well. So I can set an unlock, and you heard the, the doors unlock. Um, I can send a uh, windows down, and here we go, all the windows going down on the car, okay, um, I can do windows up, and then last but not least, I can do a top down, refocus this. So the top down engages a, um, a button that is the unlock and then it continues to send the unlock key over and over again for about 30 seconds or so until the whole thing completely drops down. And so now we've got uh, the top dropped, top up. There we go. Now you can see the top is now Coming up. Let it complete the sequence. All right. So that's a demonstration of some of the things you can do with this. Um, now this is not 100% complete. Um, still got to work on a few things here and there to uh, to get integration with the uh, the Pebble Watch. 
Uh, my Pebble Watch is kind of acting up on me, but um, what I can do is I can use it to uh, press the button up and down to lock and unlock, uh, open the top, close the top, um, and some other things. But currently it's using the Arduino Yun, so eventually I'm going to be getting rid of the Arduino Yun to do these uh, two features for the uh, arming and disarming and do it 100% through DroidScript. Um, I love being able to use DroidScript because it has the capabilities much more so than Tasker does uh, with the ability to connect to serial ports, um, control many aspects of the, the droid itself like the camera, etc. Uh, really recommend this product. Um, the uh, the folks on the team are, have been uh, fantastic on, on Google, uh, on the Google groups and uh, very responsive and very helpful. Much appreciation. Thanks.